The most important part of the rock saw is the saw itself. These saw blades are typically made out of some sort of metal, either steel or bronze, and the edge, which is this lighter colored material, is still metal, but it has diamonds stuck into it or impregnated into it. You can also see that these, this particular one has these little grooves cut into it at different intervals. Um, these grooves are called gullets and they are there to help the water reach the sample better and also by having these in the uh, rock saw blade it makes the rock saw blade cut the rock faster. The rock saw is actually rotated by a motor that's up here and this motor turns on and off with a switch and so you'd have to find the switch on your instrument but here it is for ours um, and you just make sure that you want to know where it is at all times in case you need to turn it off quickly. You can actually adjust the height of the rock saw blade on this particular version of a saw and what I mean by that is if you wanted to and decided that you needed to have the blade higher or lower for some reason, you can actually hold on to this and then turn this knob and you turn it counterclockwise to loosen it and that loosens this entire portion of the saw and you can actually pull it up higher or lower and then retighten this to adjust the level of the blade. In most cases you shouldn't need to do this because it should be set so that the blade actually cuts all the way through a rock that's sitting on this platform. The other really important part of a rock saw is the coolant or lubricant. This one is attached to the wall with a hose and this valve is how you turn the water on and off. And so it actually even has on there a little symbol that says which direction is on and off. This is also good to know in case you have a water leak or some other issue and need to turn it off quickly. There is a movable table, it's a platform, where you can put your rock sample. And we're going to use this to keep the rock steady and be able to either hold it with our hands or else push it up against this backstop here. We also usually have some sort of thing that holds the rock in place so that it doesn't move when we push it towards the rock saw. So that's the use of this movable platform is that we can use that to push it and hold it uh, while we cut the rock. And that's, there's a groove in the middle of it and the saw goes down the middle of that groove and should then be able to cut entirely through your rock. You have a tray for the water to collect in. We actually have this thing at the bottom here which is called a sediment trap. It traps all of the sediment, the leftover kind of goo um, that's produced from cutting rocks and traps it there so it doesn't go into the drain system and clog the drain. And it's pretty straightforward but you have to always remember that uh, how to um, manipulate the rock saw and the lubricant correctly and that'll be in a different video.